the other little thing that we made is here, and Gemma's moving the paperwork in order. You haven't got that recording. Yeah, I've got it recording. No, you haven't got it recording. So it's the paperwork that causes the clutter mainly, but now that uh, we have that little shelf, it's simple as that, but it just allows you to get everything up off the kitchen surface. So when we're cooking, a bit, a bit of curry or something, then of course we've got all this, all this work surface to use. It's a bit of a dreary morning today on this cloudy, overcast, drizzly Thursday, mid-April. Yeah, we are in mid-April, aren't we? Anyway, I've had an arrival and uh, Froggy pointed these out to me. I've picked up these little fittings. Look at that bad boy. So I'm hoping that we can use these for clamping down the lids. Eh, like a nodding donkey look. So if we can clamp down the lids on the fermenters, four on each tank, in sort of that pattern, you know, should work a treat. All I'll have to do is mount these on the side in the correct position and cut the lids. But that is not what we are doing today. <laughs> today, we're going in there, we're going to get on the scaffold and we're going up on the roof. Okay, maybe not up on the roof, but we're certainly going up to the roof to repair the leaks. While it's just a little bit drizzly, there ain't too much water coming through the cracks, but just enough for me to find out where the cracks are. And this stuff can be applied wet, so I'm going to get it sat in a tub of hot water to liquefy it a little bit more. I'm going to get the blowtorch out, and we're going to go attack the cracks, we're going to heat them up with a blowtorch first to dry it as best we can. The worst ones are going to get a little bit of flash banding on there, which is like a bitumen tape. And then we're going to paint the shit all over the tap. It's only a quarter three. I'm early on the beer, but I've gone hard at it today. And that's why it's gone from being this morning to immediately being quarter three. So I've been up on the scaffolding repairing the roof, and then as I got to the other yonder side, I noticed that the box gutter is looking a little bit worse for wear. So what I decided to do was check out where these leaks are coming from and whether it's something that I can fix even if it's just temporarily until we've got some cash to invest or the landlord's willing to put his hand in his pocket and get that old banged up box got sorted. Anyway, I went up on the top, fabricated a little bit of a tool to sort of scrape all the gunk out with, took some scaffolding boards up with me and worked my way all the way to the end, a good 20 metres or so. And then I started to work backwards, dragging all the gunk and crappity crap. Come on up, bud. Come on then. So after I got all of the crap and gunk uh, dragged down to the end, I was then able to hose down the box gutter and inspect it. So it's basically a lead line box gutter covered in bitumen. No idea how long it's been there, I would say a good few decades. And where the leaks are, there are two brown patches. Where those leaks are, the corresponding side in the box gutter has cracks in the bitumen, so I anticipate that's where the leaks are coming from. So I dragged all that back, cleaned the gutters on the far end of the shop. So already I've digressed from fixing the leaks in the roof. And then because I dragged all this mud out and there were buckets of mud, I then decided to get the hose pipe and rinse down the block work and the concrete on the outside. It's in a bad way, it needs a repair. Something that I can patch up in the future, but again, not while I'm trying to get up and running. This is something that wants to be done when we have spare time, spare cash. Anyway, I hosed it down, cleaned it up. And then I've come back in here and uh, I've got some grain over there, I've got uh, 
pallet of pale malt ready for brewing. So that has been pulled out and checked on, make sure there are no mice or anything in there and restacked. Then I've taken the church pews that Stuart got the other week, I've stacked them in the corner, waiting for work to be done on those. And then I've got the pallet, a pallet here, which I'm sat on, and I decided to relocate all these blocks and put them on this pallet because I'm obviously gonna be installing a couple of windows to my left. So I'm a little bit miffed that I've actually spent, probably overspent about 80 quid on block work. I've overspent about 80 quid on blocks, but the good thing about that is I will be able to utilise them in the future. The thing is I've just got to store them, so it's not money wasted, it's money invested. Could have done with it in the bank to be honest, but hey ho, there she goes. And then yeah, I'm just sat here after moving all these blocks with uh, a little bit of a lack of sugar headache coming on, so I thought well, I'll have a beer, sod paracetamol natural remedies. I'm only having the one though, so don't go health and safety crazy on me folks, because I'm going back up this tower scaffold in a second to complete the uh, fourth quarter of the roof. Well actually it's not, I've still got a good two thirds to do but they're sort of out the way a little bit. So I have to move off of the stock room to get to the big, big leak, which is behind me. But we will nonetheless get to it. I'm not sat here, I won't know. So finger out. There's a bit of a catch up anyway. Let's get on with it again. That's enough of that. Oh, what time is it, Jezza? It's quarter to seven. What's going on up there? Is that you? Jeebus. It's quarter to seven. Looks quite open in here, doesn't it, now at the minute? So uh, we've got most of the stuff pushed to the sides. All the blocks are stacked up there, out the way, nice and neat. I've been pulled all the tanks over here so they don't get covered in crap. I've been up here, this is the worst leak. This is the worst leak that we've got. Right up there, there. So we've been up there and uh, yeah, really, really sorted out the roof. Try and get it, get it repaired as best as. But there's still other bits that need doing like, what is that? I mean, what is that? What is it? I don't know. Yeah, we're going home, aren't we, Jen? Going home. So I've got to turn all the lights off. Got to turn, lock the doors. Make sure that everything's secure. And it's been one of those days, folks, where I really am just trying to get everything, everything done in the unit at the moment so we can get that brew kit in position. Oh, oh. and wet test the whole system and start to brew. So, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I'll remember, but until then, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 